questions for Chelsea. We'll go over to Mike Topper with Spectrum. Uh, hi, Chelsea. Um, thanks for doing this. Uh, I'm coming to you actually close to your old stomping grounds. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina right now. So I wanted to ask you, um, I just want to get your thoughts on uh, your alma mater, Duke, hiring Kara Lawson, uh, Lawson as their next head coach. Um, I kind of miss Raleigh Durham, so that's nice to hear that you're there. Um, but I'm excited. Um, I talked to Kara a little bit last night and uh, just her energy and her thought process behind um, wanting to become Duke's next head coach. And there's a legacy at that program that I, I know she's um, she wants to uphold and wants to kind of create her own journey and her own energy. And she's a great basketball mind. So I think they did an excellent job um, choosing Kara. Um, I've only got to compete against her maybe once or twice. Um, so, but I've always heard and I've watched film um, back when she was at Tennessee. So, I, I mean, I'm excited for the next journey, for the next chapter of Duke. And um, I think they picked a great person to, you know, lead them in that journey. I will go over to Amanda Skurlock with the LA Sentinel. Hey, Chelsea. Um, I was wondering, well, how, what does it mean to you to have the entire team together during training camp. I know in previous years, you didn't necessarily have all the pieces together during the entirety of training camp. So what does it mean to kind of just have the entire roster there? It, it's really cool. Like we've been able to, you know, talk a lot more, um, communicate a lot more, but you know, you, on a regular season, people are coming in at different times. I know I've been late to several training camps just with my overseas commitments. So it's kind of a cool look to have us all here um, we see each other all the time. So just being able to kind of start when we're starting from scratch all together and build this journey and build each day, build, build each day is, is, it's going to be great in the long, in the long haul. So I'm excited for uh, the fact that we're all together and starting training camp and me being able to be here as well. Cause that's not always the case. I will go over to Doug Feinberg with the Associated Press. Hey, Chels, good to see you. Hey, Dad. Um, I've asked a few people this, just this week or so far in the bubble, is it comparable to a little bit overseas, a little bit of AAU tournament, a little bit of college, a little bit of summer camp? I mean, all rolled into one. What, what's it been like for you so far for the first week? Um, well, it's not really like overseas because there's not really a language barrier and trying to figure out food and lost and things like that. But I think the first three days were rough. It was hard to kind of adjust being in our own, you know, our quarantine in our hotel room or our room at the villa. That was very difficult and trying to, you know, the food, I mean, I don't think there's a secret. The food was an adjustment. It wasn't great the first three days, but since then they've been doing a better job food wise. Um, I think people that have kitchens are able to, you know, have their own and, and kind of go with their dietary restrictions a little bit more, but people in the hotel rely heavily on um, people to cook for them or rather they order out and, and things like that. So it, it all depends on your preference. Um, I think it's a kind of cool aspect that everybody is here on campus. It does kind of give that AAU tournament vibe um, or like high school or like the Arizona tournament, tournament of champions where all schools were in one ho big hotel. So um, it kind of gives that vibes a little bit, um, but I know us as an organization are being extra cautious and We've been in our rooms a little bit more um, with the start of, of season and everybody getting tested, everybody, you know, getting ready and getting your bodies ready. So um, I just the think it depends on the person and the team. I'm adjusting well, trying to get, um, you know, get in the back swing, of, get in the swing of things um, with practice and, you know, our laser focus on, you know, those three hours being focused only on that. That's been quite a, a change from the last, you know, couple of months and being at home. Um, but it's, it, it's been good so far. Um, I, I know we're going to get better as a league. Um, I know they will get better in, you know, hearing us out and what we need and what we want. Holly Rowe, ESPN. Holly. 
Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Um, I wanted you to kind of paint a picture for us of the first couple of days working out as a team of, you know, some of your internal thoughts like, oh man, I wasted my pandemic or I'm in really great shape and, and what other people are saying and how you're as a group thinking you're going to get your bodies together because this is the longest you've all been, you know, without playing basketball probably in your lives. And I think people can be in shape, but basketball is just a different type of shape. So just, I think during these couple of weeks before games start, like really pushing the intensity, you know, you have to be mentally focused and there, that's a different type of shape than we've, you know, kind of been doing the last few months. Um, I think the team that's going to be in shape, focused, and kind of get to know the their teammates and have that good chemistry is it, you know, with this break and with this long, um, only 22 games, I think being able to figure that out um, will go far and into playoffs and things like that. Um, for us as a team, it's been exciting to have everybody and having these new faces and getting to know them, getting to know their style of play, the way they communicate has been key, even, the, even having just a couple of days, you know, imagine just building off that each week, each week. Um, I feel good. I feel, um, I feel ready for the season. I feel ready for this training camp, ready to lead, but, um, to be that player that people, um, look up to and kind of depend on as a, as a leadership aspect of it. Um, I feel like my team looks good. You know, Candice is going into her 13th year, I believe. She looks great. Um, NECA looks good. Um, everybody looks pretty good, you know, I, I, I like what I'm seeing, like coming in training camp, it could be either one way or the other way. So uh, I'm glad we're on, more on this end of the spectrum and, and, and doing really well with it. But just taking care of our bodies and um, knowing we don't have to sprint right to the end. You're not going to, you're going to start building habits to win the championship, but um, starting small and working our way up. Thanks. We have time for two more questions for Chelsea today. I'll go over to Howard Megdahl with Next Hoops. Hey, Chelsea, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I just wanted to touch base about something specific, which is, you know, your shot, especially from distance, is such a critical part of what you bring to the game. And I'm wondering how you've weathered it over the last few months and, you know, whether this time off has, you think, helped or hindered more, fresher legs, but obviously a difference in your routine. Um. I guess we'll kind of see later on. Um, I had a basketball hoop outside my house, but it's never the same of being inside a gym and competing. You can hit a lot of shots without defense, but you know, when games start, practices start, like, are you able to hit those same type of shots you've been working on? So I think it all depends. Um, yeah, I'll, we've been shooting definitely, you know, trying to get back in the swing of things, get our rhythm, timing, everything down. Um, but we're just going to have to wait and, you know, kind of see how that all pans out the next several weeks. All right. Last question for Chelsea Gray. We'll go over to Brady Klopfer with SB Nation. Chelsea, I'm, I'm wondering after so much uncertainty going into the season for a while, it seemed like, the season might not even happen and now it's starting so much later than than you're used to what's it like to just be back with your teammates especially the players who you've been with for a few years after not knowing if you were even gonna play with them at all this year to get back with them it's exciting man i was like i miss y'all <laughs> like not seeing everybody talking to you know you could talk to them on facetime or on the phone every couple of days but it's just different when like you just get into the gym and you're just like, I missed you. And you rebound it and, you know, outlets, everything. And then all of a sudden you do something on the court. that's like instinctual and you, knowing your players like, oh, I missed that. Like, you know, the way you hand it off, the way you set a screen, the way you roll, the way you run the floor, you know, like, oh, I, I definitely missed that. And, you know, just thinking about it isn't the same of actually being out there and on the court. So it's been exciting to be able to be back there with my teammates. Um, familiar faces and and some new faces. You know, it's different to have Simone on this side of things when I've been, you know, my whole, I've been competing against her my whole career. So um, it's nice, you know, trying to form that bond with our new teammates, but also, you know, keeping that same continuity and chemistry between um, the ones that's been here before. Um, 
So it's exciting. I think we're just going to build on this during the training camp in the early part of the season.